This session is an overview of the drugs that we are going to discuss in this course. We'll expand on this in much more detail in later weeks. As I've mentioned in previous lecture, there are about 10 classes of drugs or group of drugs that we are going to talk about. The first one is alcohol. This is a drug with massive use in our society and worldwide. And it is a major health problem. Another group is tobacco, which of course contains nicotine. And this also causes major health problems worldwide. Another, caffeine. We don't usually consider it to be a serious addiction problem, but it is uh, clearly something that many of us like to take. We do take it. And if we don't take it, we might get headaches and feel bad. So say that caffeine is the most widely used psychoactive substance in the world. Psychoactive meaning it affects our minds. Marijuana shown here is widely used and it is another one of the classes of drugs in Holland or often solvents found in clue or something like gasoline. There are the cause of major health problems in third world countries and among children in those countries. And another group are the opioids. And because of the impotence of these drugs in medicine as painkillers, many, many opioids of various types have been developed. In this the last 15 to 16 layers, many anti anxiety and sedative drugs have been developed and they are very useful and very important in medicine. But they are also addicting. The next group is a psychostimulant group and it contains drugs like cocaine, amphetamine and methamphetamine. The hallucinogens include PSP or phenoxyclidine and others like LCD. Then there's a catch-all group. Other the things that don't quite fit into these other classes and new that are probably on the horizon and that are being developed that we will discover to be new things that are probably addicting. So those are the various drugs and groups of drugs that we will be discussing throughout this course. Here we see some of the chemical structures of some of this substance. Structure for ethanol, nicotine, cocaine and THC, which is the active ingredient or one of the active ingredients in the marijuana. THC standing for tetrahydrocannabinol. You can see at a glance that the structures vary greatly. Ethanol is very small molecular, whereas THC is a much larger and far more complex molecular. It is interesting that even though these different molecules have very different shapes, they can all be addicted and abused. And this is something that we will have to try and figure out. No, less is considered the side effects. The reason we're talking about these 10 classes of drugs is because they are either addicted or abused to the point where they cause problems in our lives. But another problem with these drugs is uh, that they have toxicities or side effects and the different drugs have different toxicities and develop greater and greater toxicity. The toxicity of the, these drugs will be a major issue that we're looking at in subsequent sessions. These are examples of toxic side effects 
alcohol can cause liver disease, marijuana decreases mental and psycho performance significantly. And if I consider withdrawal from drugs a toxic side effects, which it is. Not that withdrawal from alcohol, for example, can be leaf threatening. It can cause seizures and other serious problems. So not only the addiction due to this substance a problem, but the public health people has a record.